Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to access a snapshot or a snippet directly from a user-defined key on the Behringer Wing. So I'm gonna back up a little bit and talk about the history of terminology real quick just to make sure we're on the same page. I come from the Yamaha world where we had scenes. And on the Behringer Wing, there are shows, snapshots, and snippets. A show is a coll collection of snapshots or snippets. A snapshot is essentially a scene. It's saving all of the parameters of the board into one file. And a snippet is just a subset of parameters. You can record one or more parameters into a snippet. So it's not the whole board, it's just whatever you choose to record into it. So you can record the snapshots or the snippets. You can put a collection of those into a show, uh, which may be your four songs on a Sunday morning. And then you can record, recall them in order. Um, using your show controls over here. So you also have your user-defined keys in this section here. So I did wonder, you know, is there a way besides just previous, next, and go that you could access uh, snapshots or snippets directly and load them onto the user-defined keys? So in the preferences, there actually are scenes. So it took a little digging, but I figured out how to use them and I'm gonna show you. So let's jump over to library. And you can see in my current show that I have loaded, I have um, a bunch of collection of snapshots and snippets. So to simplify, I have song number one here. I've got a couple snippets below that. I have song number two here, song three here, and song four here. So in order to load into the user-defined keys, let's go ahead and take a look at those settings. So in this user-defined section, I'm gonna to go to page four, which is blank, and I'm gonna click the view button. So this is how you set this up. And so you could say, this button here on page four, I want to be directly to a scene. So if you scroll down, there is scene recall. So you have scene recall, and then you can see you have scenes one through 128. So you might say, well, how do you, you know, how do you, what is scene number one? So if we go back to the library, you have to have, work in a show, so you can't just go to your internal drive, click on a snapshot, and turn it into a scene. You have to load that snapshot into a show first. So here's my show, and let's just go to song number three, since it's right in the middle. So I'm gonna click song three, I'm gonna make sure I'm on the show tab, and you have this edit tag button. So, if you click edit tag, you can see you can just type in numbers, and this corresponds to the scene numbers. So you do have to use the number key. So I'm just gonna, for illustrative purposes, say number four, okay? If I click okay, it might be a little hard to see, but now there's a blue number four on this scene, a snapshot, rather, which is actually, I, I personally labeled it snapshot number three the song to the one. So it's snapshot number three that I labeled. I gave it a tag of number four, which corresponds now to scene number four in that other window. So if we go back to our user defined key section here, go to view, and we're back to this first button here. Under scene recall, I'm gonna say scene number four. Okay, so you can see now that that button is tied to scene four. So if I go back to library, I'm gonna to go to my first snapshot, which is labeled 01, my testimony, and I'm gonna click go. Oh, that fired an audio file from a previous video, so I'm just gonna mute that. Um, so you can see that I am not on the snapshot that I labeled scene number four. So if I press my user defined key now, we should see on the screen it loads uh, that snapshot. And there we go. So that's exactly how you would tie a user defined key to a snapshot. Uh, using the show window. Now one last step, it's currently just labeled scene number four. So let's say we just wanna change that name. So if we go back to view our user defined keys here, under where it says scene four, you can click the name here 
and you can call it whatever you want. So you could say, I want to call this cool. Label it cool, and now that button here is called cool. So that's how you would custom label that. It could be a different label than the snapshot itself. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.